guys, Tim here with part three of our Media Center PC build. Uh, if you guys have been watching the series so far, you'll see that I've done some work off camera here just to kind of save some time on these videos. Uh, the first thing I did was put in a 500 watt OCZ power supply. Um, I've had it in another case. I know that it's pretty quiet. It is completely overkill um, for this case, but you know, it's a good power supply and I had it on hand. I've also um, put in the drives and the uh, one thing I will tell you about the drive bays is that uh, I would wire them if you have especially if you have a, a semi modular modular power supply I would completely wire these as much as you can put in the front one connect the wires route it as well as you can put in the second one connect the wires um, when you put the second one in, you want to make sure to plug in your SATA wires before you, you screw this in because uh, you do have to have some tight space down here. Um, there does wind up being you know, a pretty good bunch of cables behind the drives. Uh, you know, that's not really the end of the world. There's a, a nice fan right here. Uh, and as you guys can see, I have replaced the fans. nothing personal against the fractal fans I think these are great fans but I actually have another project that I want to use these in where that other that has other fractal um, R2 silent fans and I can match these up with two others that I have for that project and I happen to have um, some uh, Noctua uh, these are the NF F12s, 120 millimeter fans, and there's three of them. Uh, one thing I like about these is they do come with a low noise, it's kind of hard to see here, but there's a low noise adapter on there. Um, it is PWM, uh, so you know they're a little quieter, and the best part is in this build, because there's screens on the outside, you never have to look at the color of them. So I was going to use these in a build, and I, I put them in, and you know, it was a windowed build and it just drove, you know, I'm not going to say I'm OCD, but, you know, you look at this nice case with a good color scheme and these ugly tan fans, it kills me because they are the best fans I've ever used. So for something like this, they're perfect for me. Um, for something where I'm going to have a side window on a case, forget about it. So, the other thing, um, I will say... You know, just do the best you can. There are a couple of cable tie downs up front here that I've looped through. Um, I've kept as many of the cables down to the bottom of the case as possible. Uh, you will need, if you don't want to go under your motherboard, I personally don't like doing that. Um, and you want to route your four pin around the outside like I normally do, you will need an extension if you use um, one of the OCC power supplies. Some others may have longer four pin uh, cables. Uh, but So at some point I'll come back in and, and route it around so that it's not going right over top of the motherboard. Um, so I'm going to grab the uh, Seton card and show the installation of that. I'll be right back and we'll get this build wrapped up. Okay guys, we got the card. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out real quick is, I don't know if you guys can see this very well, this fan is set in an exhaust position. This fan's in an intake position and the fan over here is in an intake position. This is actually per the Fractal Design user manual. Uh, I'm going to try it this way and see how it does. I may uh, switch it. Um, the the one thing you know to remember is these do have you know I wouldn't they're not super fine dust covers but they're pretty damn good um, so I'm not really worried about dust buildup in this case I may at some point switch this fan to an intake and uh, mount uh, 280s in the back for exhaust I don't know if I'm going to need to worry about that to be honest with you um, I have a feeling that you know this A6 is going to run extremely cool. Uh, I think the, the power supply is probably going to put off more heat than the whole system. So uh, so to add an adding card, you have to remove uh, a screw over the back here. And that just flips down. And then you have to... Well, the first thing you should do is check and see what PCI slot you want to use. So let me take a gander here and see. It's, this is just a 1x card. Um, I am going to leave um, my 16x bay open just in case you know I feel like 
uh, putting a video card in this someday, so I need the third slot. I will say, uh, with the hard drives in this case, um, and the power supply and everything, uh, and especially like when I get the lid on this, uh, this case weighs a ton. <laughs> I mean, it's extremely, like the build quality of the case itself uh, is extremely good. Uh, it's, you know, high quality, very durable. Uh, let's see if I can try to do this and not get in your guys' way a bunch. Um, you know, I will say this case, there are a lot of cables floating around. So I probably will try to do a little cleanup off camera at some point. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to try to work around everything and make sure I don't like, you know, grab the bad part of the board or something here. So, if you want to get the 1X slot lined up, which of course would help if I could see what I'm doing. Is actually the back plate is actually fairly tight so there we go you do have to kind of give a little resistance against the back plate uh, to get it into the slot there that was what was the bottom down here uh, the bottom down here actually I had to give it a little flex to get it in there so nothing major but thought I'd let you guys know and flip that back up find whatever I did with the screw put the shimmy back in the shimmy as you guys can tell I've been at work way too much lately if this uh, all seems a little scatterbrained tonight so unless I'm missing anything completely obvious the build is done so we're gonna go ahead and uh, not throw the cover back on um, you know, if you guys are builders, especially like old school builders like me, uh, bad luck to put the cover on a case before you install it and boot it the first time. Um, I did test the board and the um, processor outside of the case uh, quickly, uh, just to post it real quick to make sure that everything was okay. Uh, the RAM I know is already good, the power supply I know is already good, the drives I know are already good, um, the fans I know are already good. The Seton card, I don't know if it's good, but at the end of the day, pulling out a PCI card. Uh, if it's not any good as, you know, a trivial amount of work. So, next time, we will uh, go over, I'm not going to do an OS install, you can find plenty of videos of, of Windows 7, which is what I'm going to use out on YouTube already. Um, I will talk in the next video about why I'm going to use Windows 7 versus Windows 8. Um, it has a lot to do with how the Metro UI interacts with remote controls, which is not good and I will show you a demonstration of that maybe in the next video um, but we're gonna use Windows 7 uh, I think the Media Center and, and the Media Center uh, is exactly the same in both versions so it's not like you know you're going to Windows 8 and you're getting a better version of Media Center um, you know so why and it's you know after the end of this month it's $8.99 to buy it as an add-on so why upgrade you know like, I love Microsoft, I love Microsoft products, but come on, guys. I mean, why wouldn't I just keep using Windows 7? You know, give me a reason to upgrade to Windows 8 for a Media Center PC. Do something cool, you know, make a better UI, add some functionality. It's not that hard. Uh, so, unfortunately, no changes uh, and more expensive. So, I would recommend if you're building a Media Center PC and you want a valid copy of Windows 7 that isn't on a PC, I would use that for your build. I think it's you know much better value for money since you already need a you know an XP or Vista or uh, Windows 7 copy anyways to do the upgrade. So likely you all have Windows 7 at home already. So that's it for this build. We will see you next time when we cover uh, you know some tips and tricks and other things. You know go ahead and leave some comments in the. Uh, the video here of you know any like add-ins or encoders or decoders or you know anything along those lines you'd like to see um, especially if it's something uh, that might cause the processor to be a little underpowered I'm not using this as uh, you know like to do you know DVD ripping or something like that that's not the purpose of this case it's not the purpose of this PC um, 
So I'm not going to do encoding on this PC, mostly decoding. So like H.264, things along those lines. So let me know. Uh, I will try to fit them into the next video. This is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Uh, please subscribe uh, down there somewhere, I think. And uh, please, you know, thumbs up if you like these video, guys. It does help uh, in search results and let more people find my content. And I really appreciate it. And uh, all you guys that have been watching lately and subscribed recently, thank you a lot for watching. Um, you know, I just do this as a hobby. It means a lot to me. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to provide content that, you know, some people out there will find helpful. You know, I'm not, not trying to make money off this. I'm not trying to, you know, change the world. I'm just trying to, I'm building this PC for myself anyways. So I'm trying to document, you know, kind of what's going on and the kind of things that, you know, I have to work through so that if you buy this case that maybe, you know, you'll see something that I did that you're like, oh, I know now that I need to, you know, buy XYZ. Uh, one thing quickly that you didn't see me do was plug in the DVD drive. I'm still waiting for the adapter cable for the, the DVD drive. The one I ordered was broken when it got here. So I will, you know, pull the drives out and plug that in at a later date. Um, but I can, you know, install Windows and you know, do the majority of the work I need to do on this PC from a USB key anyway. So, again, Tim for Timmy's Tech TV. We'll see you next time.